Good Sunday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. It is a quiet start to a foggy morning out there. Time is just past the bottom of the hour, and we're still live with Daybreak. Nina Harrelson out there right now. If you care to watch what's going on on Daybreak online, on, online and on air, we'll have more about the forecast for you coming up here in just a little bit. More chances of showers and thunderstorms could be a problem as we get into the rest of the forecast toward this afternoon and this evening, especially north of I-40. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Fog and haze across the Mid-South. Traffic moving along well on I-55 and around the area of West Memphis, Arkansas. Downtown Memphis, you can barely see it back out there along the horizon, but we are seeing again at least a little bit of some clearing out across portions of the Mid-South. Not a lot, but at least some. And again, some fog, a bit of a problem out there. Heavy clouds, no rainfall being seen in downtown Memphis at this time. As we look downtown, upstairs stream on the Mississippi River right back over and around the area of Martyrs Park, eastern Arkansas, downtown Mud Island over in that direction. And again, visibility a little bit improving into the area here. Likewise, from uh, transmitter tower, well, unfortunately, this should be the transmitter tower cam. Unfortunately, something got switched on the sources, and you are now looking at the Baptist DeSoto camera in South Haven. Apologies for that. But as of right now, again, a little bit of drizzle out there mainly cloud cover in the Mid-South, and that is about it. Can't stick around for the whole forecast. Here's what it looks like throughout the course of the rest of the day. We'll be seeing, again, temperatures pretty mild, back close to 80 degrees as we get into later on this afternoon and this evening. And later on this afternoon into this evening, we'll be looking at more chances of showers and thunderstorms for the Mid-South, none of which are showing up right now. We have some light drizzle, and that's about all that we really have into the Mid-South, and that's about all we're going to be seeing, again, throughout the course of the rest of the day. So nothing showing up on on Storm Tracker 3S at this time. Visibility is the main problem. We're seeing less than two miles across southeast Arkansas, northern Mississippi, two miles plus in northeast Arkansas and much of west Tennessee. Plenty of moisture out there for fog and clouds out across the area. Thanks to everybody who's joining us on Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook for this morning. Visibility out there, again, matched with some very warm and muggy conditions. Winds of 17 miles per hour around Carothersville, Missouri this morning. And temperatures remain back in the mid to upper 60s out there. Brenda Howell Harper, welcome to the show. Likewise, from uh, Betty Smith, thank you very much for stopping on by on Facebook this morning. Got questions about the forecast or, more importantly, weather information? Drop them into the comments section. We'd love to be able to see more about where you're from and what the weather's looking like. Now, later on this afternoon, moving lines on screen. That again shows where the winds are coming from and going towards. And that's going to be pumping in a lot of very warm air across the area, including some mid to upper 70s, even close to 80 degrees across portions of the Mid-South throughout the rest of the afternoon. Now, chances of rain, very light, but still possible into this afternoon and this evening. Later on this evening, especially around areas north of I-40, better chances of rainfall heading on through. Notice this wind switch line right here. Southerly winds here, northerly winds here. That's our front that's going to be coming on through the area, and as it does, it's going to be making its way again through the Mid-South right about the time Todd Demers is on the air with his forecast coming up tomorrow morning with Daybreak Monday. That'll be bringing us in more chances of showers and thunderstorms coming on through, and that front will be kind of wibbly-wobbling its way back across the area over the rest of the day tomorrow. So the kids and you going to school and or work, you're going to need the uh, rain protection umbrella starting off in the morning, also picking up the kids from school. Much cooler to the north, much warmer down to the south as that front sticks around the area and causes, again, those difference in temperatures and those rainfall chances will remain with us right on in through about tomorrow night on News Channel 3 at 10 with Jim Jagger's forecast coming up there. Here's the big thing for today. Big severe weather outbreak expected from western Ohio to eastern Missouri. A moderate threat of severe weather is going to exist in this location. Good possibility of damaging winds, large supercell type thunderstorms, and most importantly, tornadoes. Here's the other thing that is important. This is a brand new forecast from where we record this at just about 7.30 this morning. If you'll notice the area in and around the Mid-South, especially Northwest Tennessee, a slight risk category has now been issued for Northern Dyer County. That may not sound like much, but the main thing is at this time, 
that that is a higher risk category than what we have seen in quite some time. So this whole area of severe weather potential is making its way a little bit further south and into the Mid-South area. Now, mainly again along and north of I-40, that marginal threat of severe weather in that bright green shaded category. This right here, the, dark, the faded green indicates just the potential of just thunderstorms out there. But more importantly, this means that that threat of severe weather is starting to get a little bit larger and extending a little bit further into the Mid-South. So this is something we are going to have to pay attention to, especially if you live around Dyersburg, uh, north of Humboldt, Jackson, I-40, Covington, Ripley, Tennessee, the Boot Hill, and northeast Arkansas especially. That's going to be the main thing up there. And if you're heading anywhere east of St. Louis, south of Chicago, and southwest of Cleveland, this is going to be an area you're going to have to watch for the potential of damaging winds and all kinds of other stuff. Tomorrow's threat, just thunderstorms and isolated generic thunderstorms coming up on Tuesday. Tuesday as well. That's the main thing we're looking at for right now. More information on the forecast coming up on Daybreak Sunday. Mostly cloudy, very warm today. Chances of showers and thunderstorms begin tonight, head into tomorrow, and continue right on in through about Tuesday. That's where we see again that potential for more showers and thunderstorms out across the Mid-South as that front doesn't go any place. It just sort of wibble wobbles back across the area. Canada finally sends us some nice cooler conditions as we go into the end part of the week, and temperatures looking very nice as we approach the Veterans Day holiday. Thank Thank you very much to all the veterans out there, whoever you are, for wearing the uniform and helping to keep our country safe. Dry and mild, but on Veterans Day evening, Saturday night into Sunday morning next, there could be again the potential of some showers maybe some thunderstorms, but that's going to be an isolated chance, and this is about a week to 10 days in the future, so things can definitely change over the course of the next several days. So that's why you want to stay tuned to the weather experts for more details on what's going on there. Rest of the forecast, if you can't watch online or on the TV, join us on the radio, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3. And, of course, we'll have more coming up at WREG.com slash weather. i got to get back out on set to finish up the last segment of Daybreak, so join myself and Nina Harrelson for that. And throughout the rest of the weekend as well, we'll have news, weather, and sports tonight on News Channel 3 at 5 and 10, so stay tuned for more there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us for early morning Sunday's edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. <laughs>